Hello everyone, welcome to another one of Roy's Windows 10 tips and tricks. Um, today I wanted to talk about the Windows 10 media overlay or the volume slider. As you can see, um, when you move the volume, then you get this little pop-up over here. And if you have something like Spotify up, then you have media controls and you can see it. What I found is when you have multiple screens, and you know many applications open and you're working I use the media keys on my keyboard to play pause my music like say if somebody calls me and I'm answering them uh, with the uh, Windows phone app or whatnot through my cell phone or even like my office VOIP phone and it gets really frustrating when those media keys don't work and what I found out is when this uh, media overlay is what they call it doesn't pop up then the buttons don't work unless I'm specifically on the app but I'm not going to just be on Spotify all day I'm doing lots of work so I don't have you know that is the active window and when that's not the active window and that media overlay doesn't pop up the hardware keys don't work so I did a little bit of investigating and found out that's actually why is that media overlay is tied to the hardware keys and I'll, I'll kind of explain how it works and then I thought it would be a setting within Windows and it's actually not it's uh, application specific so for me what I did is I went into Spotify because that was the one that was causing me the most problems and I found the setting and I just disabled it and re-enabled it and it has not caused me a problem ever since so I'm gonna pull up Spotify here I'm gonna show you so what you need to do is you go into edit and go to preferences and what you're looking for is this right here show desktop overlay when using media keys and I just disabled it and re-enabled it like that ever since I did that it's worked perfect I've been on other programs doing other things I hit the play pause on my keyboard like this, and it works not a problem the overlay comes up right there um, some people don't like that overlay you know it'll pop up and it's kinda big and it is outdated it was originally introduced with Windows 8 they did not update it for Windows 10 they just plopped it in there and said here you go um, so <coughs> That, that's another way you could disable it as well but if your media keys stop working you may need to you know do some additional research or or see what can be done there but that's how you fix it for uh, Spotify and then just to show you on Chrome because that's also what a lot of people use you know watching videos and other things you're gonna want to go to Chrome and then semicolon slash slash flags and I'll put this in the description and then you're gonna to wanna to search for hardware media key handling right here I just you know typed hardware and it came up when you first come in here it's a really long list and it's like warning experimental things ahead so don't mess with anything else in here unless you know exactly what it does but hardware we're gonna to go to hardware key handling and what you would do is you would set this to disabled if you did not want that media overlay to pop up when you adjust the volume or anything within Chrome if it's frustrating to you. Um, if you're having issues maybe set it to enabled if you want it to pop up like I did um, and then then maybe back to default play around with it a little bit and that is how you adjust the media overlay with Windows 10 for Chrome and for Spotify. A quick Google search now that you know what it's called, the media overlay could show you how to adjust it on other programs. Turn it on or off if you're it's something that frustrates you. Little things annoy me every now and then in how I do my day with Windows. And eventually I figure out a way to, to either live with it or, or find a workaround, which in this case I'm very happy with what I found out because now my media keys work no matter what screen I'm on I have three screens over there two more screens over here and when I'm playing music and somebody calls me or somebody texts me and I need to answer them or you know I whatever the case may be I get interrupted or I'm on my email or I'm on my work applications whatever I can hit the pause button and it's always worked since I've made that change so 
hope this helps you if you're having the same type or related frustrations with the media overlay and you either want it to disappear or you want it to show up and work. And I uh, hope you have a great day and thanks for watching. Please remember to uh, subscribe and like, share the video. Have a beautiful day.